no more. Signature move now at this point, 169. Tosses aside their cone. Quickly loading from the match load station. Blue trying to get a goal successfully into the 20 point zone. Red tried to do the same. All right, autonomous goes to blue. Driver control starts in three, two, one, go. Our team from Sting has scored, takes possession of the cone and the, or the mobile goal they had previously scored, trying to make their way across the field to load up the cone. 169E and 8825 trying to snag cones both from the near side of the field. I'm sensing a high scoring match. 5225A looking to hold on to their title as being undefeated this weekend. 8825S securing their tall stack. Looks like they're making their way over to the stationary goal. Unloading one, two, three, and four. Oh, not quite four. That's out of four. And a fifth. And a sixth. Seven. Bold move. All right, 169E. Clearing out their match loading station. Going over and. We had some sway, but it stays as they put the mobile goal into the 10-point scoring zone. On the far side of the field, it looks like 5225E is trying to pick up some off the floor. Getting real close to 8059X. 8825S, incredibly tall stack. They're up, still holding in place, releasing, and they are good! 14 seconds left of the match. The Cavalry adding one more mobile goal to their 10 point scoring zone. Red is on a parking tile, four seconds left. E trying to, Red trying to race their two. Ooh. Let's see if Blue's touching their parking zone too on this near side of the field. All right, we'll send it over to you, Pauline Parthic. Wings of Freedom. <laughs> Wings, Wings of Freedom, of freedom. that Seriously. robot just put on a show. I, seriously. A combination of just crazy offense, cra <laughs> interlaced with defense and positioning to slow down. They're like, look, we're faster than all of you. And so once we score, we're going to slow you down even more. And then we're just going to dominate this match. Just stacking and stacking. They, they built the stack. They moved the stack to the stationary goal. Then they built another stack all the way up and took it on. The uh, Ebot pylons were just going with some smaller stacks, dropping them in that yeah, zone. It was a Great teamwork. The best overall strategy is what I've seen is why I think the Technology Alliance is doing well. There's great, there's 12 fabulous robots out here, and they're all very close level-wise. Right. But I really think the Technology Alliance is working the best as a team, yep. and they're playing smart strategies tailored to each one of their opponents. I agree. Couldn't have said it better myself. So we're just thinking, waiting here on the score of this match, and we're just trying to see what happens in all of this. But... It's going to be very interesting, so let's take a look at what this does. Our score from the match was... Technology takes it 146 to 85. So that means all throughout the elimination rounds and the round robin, the technology division was undefeated. Technology undefeated, moving on to the finals. But we've got a lot of work to do with just one match to figure out what's going to happen and who's going to move on as our second team. So let's take a look at our updated standings. All right, we see technology up at the top right now. Art's still in 